What's going on guys, it's Black Tiger here, coming to you some more Last Island of Survival. This is a base building video to show you how to make a quick starter base, a small base, a igloo shape base. This is going to be very cheap and easy, I'm going to show you how to make it, and I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys enjoy these base building videos, let me know, and uh, enjoy. Okay, so first, you're gonna start off with your triangle foundation. You're gonna throw a triangle down, all right? Throw one next to it, go one to the other side, and go all the way around. You're gonna to wanna to go all the way around until you have a full hexagon. So now you have a full hexagon, or you can call it a honeycomb. You can call it whatever you wanna call it. I believe it's six sides, so that is a hexagon. If it was five, it would be a pentagon, or if it was eight, it'd be an octagon. So this is a hexagon. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw down a square right at the front. This is gonna be your entry point. This is where you go to enter. So this is a very small base. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and throw up your door. Go throw up a door, and then you're gonna put your walls all the way around, all the way around to the side. That's gonna fill you in. So that's your entry point. So go ahead and go all the way around with, to your base until you're all the way to the end. Okay, so now that you're at the end, Go ahead and throw up a, a ceiling to go ahead and fill up the top. That way you'll be insecure and enclosed. You're gonna to wanna to put another door right here. Now that's now you're inside your small base. And this is all your base is gonna be is this small, very small room. So now you wanna start off and go straight to the back. Then you're gonna to wanna to put your TC unit in straight in the back. Alright. So now you're going to figure out which way you're going to want to secure your TC. So go to this side, throw up a window frame. Well, that's what I would use, a window frame on this side. On the other side, you're going to want to use, use an actual wall. Okay, put that down. All right, so then when you get back to this side, go ahead, put something inside, put your wood inside or your material. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill up the top and put the ceiling up with the triangle, so the ceiling, and we'll fill that all the way around. So now that we're secured inside and enclosed, so now you can see that this is the entry point. It is a starter base. Now this is not a non-raidable base to let you know. So if you're here to try to knock my base build and say you're going to raid this base, that's cool. So now you, you want to figure out where you want to put your loot boxes. You can put one right here in the corner at the very beginning before you upgrade. Go ahead and put your sleeping bag over here. You can put it anywhere because this is just going to be a room. Okay, so now you want to put up a frame right here. You're going to want to put up your shutter doors as well. That's what you, if you can get a shutter door. If not, then you can hold off with a double door just to hold off or a single door as well. So over here, you want to put up a door just to secure your loot box while, before you upgrade. And so now you have all the space. And this is this is where you want to put go back to the hallway in the front. This is where you, where you want to put your workbench. This is a level one workbench. So it's just to be a very beginning. And then right here, put your research table right across from it in that opening hallway. So hopefully in a starter base, you're not talking about having a, uh, an advanced workbench because this is just starter base. By the time you get to advanced, you will uh, you should have a bigger base by then. So now you're in here at your TC, you can go ahead and upgrade and make it stone. If you have the stone, eventually you'll have a, a stone base. So now we are, are secured in. Go ahead and secure your base with security locks. I mean, that's what most people would do, I think, if you don't want nobody to go inside your base, right? Okay, so now let's take a look at the outside. This is a complete small hexagon igloo. It's in the shape of an igloo. So right there, really, there would be some furnaces there, but this video, I'm sorry, I didn't have any furnaces. I ran out of gas, so I couldn't make it. I didn't feel like going to go get any, but this is where, that, that's where you would put your furnaces. And also over here, you could probably put another furthest right there against that wall as well. That box is not got to stay. You could just have that at the very beginning. So go to the outside where that room is, where you stuck your loot box. Or you go ahead and put a triangle down. Go ahead and put some half walls around it. Because what this is going to do is you're going to build a shelf. This is once you get upgraded and feel like you're ready to build up a little bit and have an extra. So... But you don't want to leave it like that, so you're going to want to put the walls all the way to the ceiling because that's going to look suspicious. And people are going to definitely know that there's a shelf right there, especially a smart player. So now that you're up and have it all the way up, it's kind of no longer an igloo. 
So now what you want to do is put up your frame. Okay, so now you have your shutter walls as well, but you're going to want to put up your half walls. You can't put your half walls up until you have your shutter door up first. So now that your shutter door is up, now you can put up your, your half wall shelf. So now you want to take your chest loot boxes and go ahead and put them on the shelf. Okay, you put one on the top and then you're going to find a way to fit one at the bottom. So now you have your loot boxes. You have two where you can secure all of your items and you have two shutter doors. So now that you have two shutter doors, you're in here inside your igloo. Go ahead and upgrade the outside where you built the half walls. So now this is your base right here. This small base is a starter base. This is not an anti-raid base, like I said before. So let's go on the outside and take a look at this. It's it's kind of still an igloo, but slightly different because of that. This is not like rust. So I cannot just knock that down and that shelf would stay there. If that was the case, I would have went ahead and knocked it down. The shelf would have stayed there. So this is your quick starter base. It is not that complicated, very easy. Just create a, a square, a hexagon, and then after that you'll fill in your your window in the back your tc in the back put your put your uh advanced workbench or no well not advanced your just your your workbench and your research table in the front put your sleeping bag in the back put your furthest right there against the wall sorry i didn't once again i'm sorry i didn't have the furthest for the video but yeah you'll put two furthest in this in this base and this is where you would start now i'm not saying this is a secure base Hopefully you'll continue to loot up and you will upgrade your base and you'll figure out what else you're going to do. That is completely up to you. So there you go. Here is a starter base. I'm going to call it the Igloo. If you're interested in more of these base building videos, I can give you some more. And uh, and sorry, I didn't. I was doing some commentating while I was making it, but there was a lot of moving around. So I decided to do a voiceover commentating. If you prefer this way, because it's better to explain, uh, let me know in the comments below. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.